Welcome back to the channel investors and welcome back to another video guys. I have a stock that I want you to put on your watch list for tomorrow morning guys. This is ticker symbol FPAY, a tiny $1.59 NASDAQ stock that is the number one stock on my radar for tomorrow morning guys. Pull up FPay immediately and watch this one before market open tomorrow, guys. Let's get into this one. I want to go over some of the big highlights of this company so you guys have all of the details before tomorrow. As you guys can see, over the last five days, up 23%. Over the last one month, up 54%. Even over the last one day, up 1.27%. And there are some very, very big things coming for this company that is going to directly impact shareholder value, aka possibly increasing that share price, which I want to share with you guys in today's video. Now, now, getting into this, as we can see, FPay here. Let's read over some of the big highlights before we get into some of that uh, other information as well. So we have second quarter total revenues increased 29.8% to $31.8 million from $24.5 million. FPay expects to add another 500 new retail partner locations during the second half of 2024. Last year, their total fundings increased 7.7% to $120.4 million from $111.8 million. Total revenue from 2023 surpassed $115 million, guys, which obviously is big. So as we can see, we have a brand new profile that we want you to research heading into tomorrow's session. This one has been on fire the last month and has been steadily moving up the chart. Pull up FPay immediately and start your research on this one. Now, before I go any further into the company, guys, I want to show you an article that directly relates to this company adding shareholder value. So Flex Shopper to buy back preferred stock at a discount. This is pretty big news here and something that I love to see from the company. So as we can see, Flex Shopper, aka NASDAQ, FPAY, a prominent online lease to own retailer and payment solutions provider announced today plans to redeem a significant portion of its series two preferred stock. The company has security purchase option agreement which allows it to buy back 91 percent of stock at more than a 50 percent discount from its second quarter 2024 liquidation preference which was approximately 43 million dollars flex shopper ceo russ uh, heiser here expressed optimism about the redemption potential to enhance a shareholder value he pointed out that this move could improve the company's cost of capital simplify the structure and transfer roughly 23 million dollars of equity value to common shareholders equating to about one dollar per share he also noted that the transaction is expected to be highly uh, uh, accredited here to earnings contributing approximately four million dollars to annual operating income now scrolling down we can see pro forma valuation models suggest the redemption of 91 percent of flex chopper series 2 preferred stock could lead to a 76 percent increase in common equity value and potential a 76 percent rise in share price from a dollar 28 to two dollars and 25 cents now obviously the the stock has moved a little bit since this article was created currently sitting at dollar 59 but still nowhere near that two dollar and 25 cent price target that we see a lot of uh or at least those valuations being put on it just based off of those buybacks there so that is the big thing with the company guys and uh, obviously is extremely bullish when a company wants to buy back shares we would assume that those insiders those those people have more knowledge and more you know about the company right so you know if they really believe in the company and they're buying back their shares with their own money like then that should you know should lead to are they or they they at least think the stock is going to do well right which is bullish they're not gonna put their hard-earned money in something that you know is not gonna do well ultimately at least you know that's the way that many investors look at it but um so anyway let's get into a little more other details about the company so what does this company do flex shopper is an innovative payments provider and online retailer that helps everyday americans afford products for their homes and other everyday essential items with flex shoppers best in class proprietary application process when a customer applies for a payment solution it does not impact their credit score and the company has multiple payment options for all types of credit profiles which provides tremendous value to both customers and retail partners f pay uh, serving a growing number of uh, consumers who are getting squeezed by rising costs and limiting and limited access to traditional credit in that respect f pay solutions can be a game changer in the fintech space ironically it's sim its simplicity is the value driver so the fintech opportunity 
FlexShopper's value driver isn't product based, it's technology based, designed to seamlessly integrate with online and brick and mortar retailers, a uh, retailer, yeah, retailer sales platforms. The integration makes it easy for customers to apply for lease agreements and take home products that might otherwise be cost prohibitive. In other words, FPay removes the barriers associated with traditional credit application and opens the door uh, to millions of potential customers who need flexible payment options. Scrolling down here, you can see their B2C channel, Online Marketplace. FlexShopper provides consumers with immediate purchasing power to buy products through www.flexshopper.com and additional corporate-owned uh, micros. Micro, I'm going to skip that. 50% of repeat customers, 1.5x cash on cash returns in the first year, 77k plus SKUs from top retailers, dropship program eliminates inventory risk, B2B channels, a patented payment method. Black Shopper provides retail merchants with greater consumer demand and higher sales conversions by providing a payment option on a retail partner's e-commerce site or brick and mortar location. 36% repeat customers. Merchants experience an increase of 40% in financed orders. Uh, supports incremental revenue opportunities for retail partners. Significant growth in retail locations over the past three years. And guys, you could just see how much this stock is actually climbing here. So 16% Q2 year over year adjusted EBITDA growth. Uh, 3,935 total merchant locations. 30% total repeat customers. Five issued patents. And uh, 1.5 plus expected cash on cash return, 37% insider ownership, guys. You can see some of the key statistics right here, leading payment solutions, Q2 revenue and margins, 30% revenue growth, guys. Uh, obviously, total revenue and gross margins, guys. Uh, things are just increasing here for the company. And, and you guys can even pause the video and take a look at some of these second quarter financial results. But guys, that's the main stuff that I wanted to share with you about ticker symbol FPAY before tomorrow. Now pull this one up and do your research on this before the morning, guys. Uh, that's all I got for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications, guys. A lot of my videos are extremely time sensitive, just like this one. So make sure you have those notifications turned on so you can get my videos as soon as I release them. That's all I got for you guys. And I will see you in the next one.